Have you noticed that your child's skin has been looking a little angry? Maybe a little bit of redness or a bit of a rash going on on their cheeks. Maybe they've even got a bit of cradle cap going on on their scalp. What is this? Why is this happening? Where is this coming from? My name is Christian Flutter and let's have a little chat about why your breast milk may be influencing your child's skin. So first off, let me just clarify, it's not just breastfed babies that have these kind of cheeky responses, <laughs> cheeky, or they have these kind of responses or changes to their scalp like cradle cap. It's also formula fed babies that can go through these same sort of processes. And that's because it's a very similar mechanism. And that mechanism is that of an allergy. See, when we think of allergy, we typically think of anaphylaxis. We think of you eat a peanut and foof, your face will swell up and you end up looking like Will Smith from Hitch. But not all allergies actually go down that pathway. What they do do, however, is activate the same sort of response. And that response is activation of our immune system. See, when we have that happening, we might get a little bit of tummy pain or a bit of bloatedness from something that we've eaten. Our body might start producing more mucus, so we end up a bit congested or sniffly snuffly. Some bubs may actually start pooping out a bit of mucus. And we also see changes to our skin. Now this is typically on our face, we'll see cheeks going all dry or red or rashy on our torso and also a bit of cradle cap inside our scalp. Yes, these can be coming from an allergy. But then where is this allergy actually stemming from? I mean, Bubba's just breastfed. How could it be allergic to breast milk? Well, it's not the milk itself, but a content within that milk. See, when mum eats something that's a little bit funny to her, that can travel through the breast milk and end up being a little bit funny to Bub. But the thing is, a baby's gut is a little bit leaky. And it hasn't quite sealed up properly and this allows more things to travel into areas where they shouldn't be traveling and trigger off this allergic response. So one of the more common things that I see causing this one, well we're looking at your soy, your wheats, eggs are a very big one as well, shellfish, peanuts, tree nuts and by far the most common one that I see is dairy, cow's milk protein. Mum eats any of these things and it can travel straight through the breast milk, straight into bub and trigger off that immune system response. So what do we do? Well, easiest thing to do is take that offending substance out of the diet. And most mums kind of think, you know what, ah, I'll go off it for a couple of days and things will be okay. Mm -mm. Unfortunately, you do need to be going off these substances for quite some time. See. While the anaphylaxis can happen very quickly, there are some allergic responses that can take days before they actually start showing up. And in fact, research has shown that it can take up to 12 days to reduce out of mum and for the 14 days to reduce out of bub. So it could take nearly 30 days before you'll see the effect of taking that food out of your diet coming through in your child. And the reason for that is it's almost like a threshold point. Imagine this is the point where we're seeing all these skin things coming through. If they're all the way up here, it just takes 30 days for it to drop down below that point. Now, if you've got a kid who's got a little bit of a skin sensitivity and it's creating some discomfort, have a chat with your health professional. They're there to be able to discuss these things with you. And it may be of benefit for yourself and for Bub to get on top of their dietary problems sooner than later. Because remember, what you put in your mouth may actually be influencing their skin. I hope you found that informative. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye now.